Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the RCN Power GTS V3 1002 motors. That's a tiny little micro motor, and I think one of the things that some of you may be most interested in outside of, you know, the typicals for a motor performance, is these have the double ball bearings in it. So that should mean that their efficiency, their power, their torque, all those motor properties, it should maintain those over a longer period of time because it does not have bushings, which bushings are non-movable parts, so other parts are wearing on those bushing parts. So these should be much more even over the course of their life. And therefore, if you tend to fly one quad, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and it's a, a micro, you should check into this motor. I do believe these are available to purchase. Uh, if Pyro Drone has any, I saw them on their website and any other web websites I could find that might be carrying these little guys. Uh, I have three different versions. Uh, first, uh, thank you RC and Power for sending these over for some testing. I enjoy spending some time with them. I did test them on several different quads. I, I built a couple fresh quads to kind of give them a fresh start, as well as a couple different props. Um, so there's a lot of flight footage, so I'll try to condense it down. Uh, but I think the first thing we need to do is take a look at the weights of this motor in comparison with some other motors that we typically use on micros. And as you can see here, I've got kind of a sheet of eight motors I happen to have around. Uh, so we've got the RCN Power uh, kind of in the second column on the left-hand side, top row left uh, there. Uh, also, we've got the newer Happy Models, some older Happy Models. And we've got uh, some tiny whoops. Uh, there's two different of the newer ones, uh, newer and newest. Uh, we've also got tiny whoop motors, uh, beta FPV motor motors that are a bit older. You know, they have the multicolored uh, motor wires, uh, a GEP RC 1102, and a uh, newer 1102 from Happy Model as well. Uh, do note that that one millimeter and 1.5 millimeter is the shaft. So of course, with a bigger, thicker shaft, you're going to have more weight. Uh, but I wanted to throw in those 1102 weights because of the curiosity and probably because of what I flew them on. So first off, I did uh, 1S and 2S testing. Uh, these over here are 1S. Uh, if you're curious about this little guy, this is the Rocket Race from Jax3dprinting.com. Uh, it's a frame. Uh, he may be also selling kits with motors and other components. He was at least for a time, so check out Jax3dprinting.com for that. Uh, so I've got the X12 board down here from Happy Model, which gives me a lot of ESC overhead. This is a, a fresh build here. This is actually a prototype frame. Um, so you'll find that the dimensions of the arms and stuff like that are a little bit different on the production version. But I, I went ahead and used this because I fly a lot of this frame. So I wanted to have that as a comparison. Also the Mobula 7, the ELRS 1S, uh, I've got two of those. So I put the RCN power motors on those and I did test them with the bi blades so I could do a straight across comparison as well as putting tri blades on there. Uh, the short version of this, oh, I forgot one. Uh, then I've got this one over here, which is another rocket race. This is a 2s edition uh, you could probably tell the difference in the frames a little bit this is a little bit more production over here uh, this is on 2s so i used the 14,000 kv motors and then i did a uh, throttle limit to bring it down closer to 10,000 kV so I could compare it to the typical rocket race that I've been flying and taunting here online for the longest time. I flew it on bi blades and tri blades. Tri blades are on here because tri blades were last, of course. You know, working up a PID tune for the different motors and the different props, it takes time. But in this video, uh, hopefully, it will be able to answer your questions or at least give you an idea of how they fly in different configurations. Uh, also, if you're looking for uh, something like this, which this is the baby turtle from sub 250 fpv this is also another really good candidate for a frame uh, for 1s or 2s he is on like his sixth edition of this uh, so a more traditional sort of micro frame this happens to be 1s on this particular one and this was another comparison i was doing with 1102 18,000 kv motors so that's that's kind of my base plan of testing now of course we can always go to the motor spec sheets and we could take a look at all that information i'll leave that to you to do again link down in the video description i'm sure every reseller is going to list those motor specs and then you can find the motor that you want to compare it to motor listings pretty much universally have that information i shouldn't say universally it's common for it to have that information from our retailers, so you can just compare whatever motors you want to compare it to. Uh, to get down to my opinion of the motor, I think if you're flying 0802 or you're flying 40 millimeter props, whether they're bi blades, tri blades, or quad blades, yeah, I think you're going to want 1002 motors. I I think the efficiency is close enough to where the flight time will be neg negligible, 
but the performance, especially in a freestyle sort of format, you're going to want these whether you're flying two blade, three blade, or four bladed props in a 40 millimeter format. Now, when it comes down to uh, 2S and flying two inch props like I have here, I would say it's more viable. It's not more viable. It's actually good with bi blades. So if you're building something like the Baby Turtle from Sub 250 FPV, really good candidate is to use these 1002 motors and then use some sort of throttle or scale or motor limit in order to be able to, you know, fit your ESC. I could probably run this full out on the 14,000 kV on this particular board because of the ESC that it has on it is higher amp rated. So it should handle it fine. But I wanted to compare it again to running 10,000 kV that I'm so familiar with with 1102. When it comes to tri-blades, you're starting to push it a little bit. And that's one of the areas that I noticed when, I, I, as I worked in the PID tune, the PID tune was a little less forgiving, so I had to be a little bit more specific in my PID tune than I was with bi-blades. And I think that comes down to when you're doing the hard, fast, quick change in direction maneuvers, you're trying to minimize that prop wash because you're kind of, you're going one direction and then you flip around and you nose up and you try to go hard the other way so you're flying into that dirty air. The motor's ability to be able to make the spinning adjustments in order to minimize that prop wash, you could start to see that coming out when you run on tri-blades. Not surprising, but I wanted to give it a good solid go to make sure I had a good feel. I didn't want to just guess, but uh, I think on bi-blades, it, it flies really nicely, really well. Uh, on tri-blades, we start to push it. On tri-blades, if you've got a super light build like this, I think the 1002 motors are very viable in a tri-blade configuration. But if your build starts to get a bit heavier, then I would suggest going to an 1102. I can't give you an exact weight. I can weigh this one for you to give you a weight. And here, I'll do that now. My all-up weight here for the Rocket Race from Jacks3dprinting.com, 32 and a quarter grams. So I would say if you get closer to 36 or 38 grams in your build, yeah, you're probably going to want 1102s. And then if you get to above 45, you're probably wanting 1103. Of course, there's a pretty good weight jump when you go from 1102 to 1103. So that's something else you need to consider when you're doing your motor research. But I think below 36 grams, you could run the, the 1002 motors on two inch tri-blades and it'll perform pretty well. I like it better on bi-blades though, uh, this particular build at this particular weight. So that's my opinion on these motors. Now let's get into the flight footage to where you can develop your own opinion. Our first flight is the Mobula 7, uh, 1S in a bi-blade configuration. I'm not going to go through each and every prop test that I did. I, I apologize if that irritates some of you, but that would just get to be probably a ridiculously long um, video on this particular motor. On a 40 millimeter prop, it's going to fly all the 40 millimeter props well. We should know that. We've been flying the 0802 motors on all sorts of different 40 millimeter props, and then they've been handling it fine. What you'll find is the uh, in the freestyle maneuvers especially, and hopefully I'm demonstrating that enough, um, recoverability, quick response, uh, change in direction, there's all a different feel in the prop authority. Of course, that shouldn't be a surprise either because it's a bigger motor. Bigger motor should handle uh, prop size that we've been flying on a smaller motor a little bit better. Uh, I think the difference if you're just getting started in your flight journey is more going to be about the longevity of the motor. Uh, I think you'll be less likely to damage the motor um, in, in crashes, especially if you tend to fly in more harsh environments than the 0802 motors. Um, you know, we've, we've seen different things. I haven't experienced all of them, but uh, some people have bent the 1.5 millimeter motor shafts. Uh, some people have ripped some uh, motor bases off. Um, other people have, uh, you know, dinged up the bell or had the bell separate when it, what, they weren't flying the unibells. Uh, yeah, my neighbor Errol's coming around What's here. Up, He's Errol? going for his uh, evening walk. I'm flying there out front. Know. Uh, because, well, it was all wet out back, so I spent a pretty good amount of time, I think it was about four days, flying uh, the little guys out front here uh, just to try to get some flight sample and get a feel, and also I had to work on the tune quite a bit, of course, because when you change a motor, you got to change the tune for the most part, unless it's the exact same size of motor, which we're not dealing with. Let's move forward, and then now I'll show you the original Mobula 7 with the 0802 motors. And here's the original Mobula 7, again, on those 0802s. Thank you, Rapid Fire, for sinking right away at the beginning of my flight. That's what the video aberration was, if you aren't familiar with that, the Rapid Fire sink. And I think this does show. I'm not trying to make it do this stuff. I'm just flying, having a good time, and getting a feel for the motors, and I'm recording it so I can go back and look at it. 
I think this shows it like in those bigger maneuvers. If you're flying a 40 millimeter prop, you have better recoverability, better authority on a 1002 motor. And also, you notice that slight wiggle. That was the 0802 or this particular quad and the pid tune that it comes with. Wanting to y'all wash out. It corrected before it actually did the full washout, but it was potentially there. So you probably are having a little bit of a hard time seeing it. That's why I left it in the OSD as I wang into the rain gutter there. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't just trying to record a video. I wasn't trying to do a quick hitter just so I could put something out on YouTube. I wanted to, to have some fun and to experience these in a couple of different configurations so I could be uh, sure that if you decide to get a motor that at least you'll have some idea of what I think of the motor if that's important to you. Sometimes I don't give my opinion very well and I just leave it to you to make your judgments and sometimes uh, I get a lot of comments of well yeah, what do you think? You. Well this is what I think. I think these motors are going to be really really good for the 40 millimeter 40 millimeter prop and if you're running two inch by blades on 1s or 2s it's also good and if you want to fly two inch props on 1s i would probably on 1s i definitely stick with the by blades i think when you go to the tri blades on 1s two inch prop gets to be a little bit much for the motor but you know that again that's Try it for yourself if you're, you're you're out there and you're working on a build or something like that. I think this motor size is probably going to take over for 0802. That's just a guess. I'm sure everybody who makes motors out there is going to see these as well as some others that we saw recently launch on the market and go, oh, there's a new motor market to go after. We need to be a part of that. Okay, let's move forward. I'm going to jump over the open prop stuff that I did over 40 millimeter props. I think we've covered that pretty well in the whoop format. And we're going to go yeah, into the difference. 2S testing that I did. This is on the uh, the TKS Rocket Race uh, from Jack's 3D Printing. I've probably said that about a dozen times. This is on by blades and it is on 2S. You can see there from the OSD, the lower left, we've got, uh, well, we started at over 8 volts. So 2S battery, of course. And you can kind of make out the prop a little bit, at least before we armed. It's, it's the by blade from Jim Fan. So that was the particular by blade I was testing in this particular case. Again, I've reduced the throttle to try to match the 10,000 kV for my own purposes so that I could do a comparison over flying the same essential quad at a very, very similar weight uh, with by blades and tri blades both. So I could do that comparison side by side. And I think. Well, I've got several of those rocket races around. I've, I love that one, and I've built so many of them. Uh, because I, I, I can't go without having one in operating order. So I, I think I would definitely keep one with the by blade on it. Uh, I liked how it sounded. <laughs> it's a funny little thing, but I liked how it sounded. And I thought when it came to the quick, hard maneuvers that it handled that by blade really well. The 1102 is going to handle a touch better, but I think the 1102 motor is better suited for the tri blade 2 inch prop. I've kind of said that a couple different times. You never know, you could be scrubbing through the video and miss out certain sections, so hopefully you uh, have heard my thoughts on the motor here. Uh, Pyrodrone should have them listed. I'm sure they're listed on uh, other websites as well, and I'll put a link down in the video description where you can obtain one, or at least see the web pages with listings, because who knows if they're uh, actually in stock and available. That's something that we'll have to check at the time that I finally get this video out. Yeah, it does take me a while to do these sorts of videos. Uh, the efficiency side of thing, I mentioned it at the, at the beginning of the video. You know, you, you can look at the spec sheets, but I, I, I'm i flying different batteries all the time doing my testing on these things. So I wouldn't want to say that the battery efficiency or the flight efficiency or motor efficiency is the same, less than, equal to than any real motor because I have no science behind that. I it's It's comparable and I think it's not going to cause great alarm as to how you know, it impacts your flight time um, compared to, say, an 1102 or 0802, depending upon what you're comparing it to. Okay, let's go ahead. That's a pretty good sample of the by blades. I think the by blades is where it's at on 2S uh, for the 1002 motor. But let's go into the tri blades so that you can get a comparison between those two. All right, same evening, I do believe. The sun's just a touch lower because I had, you know, four or five flights on one and then four or five flights on the other after I'd. Spent a couple days working out the PID tune. Again, tri blades, 2S, 1002 motor. It's the 14,000 kV one, but I've done a motor scale on it. Uh, actually, I did a throttle reduction on it to bring 
it down closer to a 10,000 kV because that's what I'm used to flying on this frame and, and I think that's a really good match as far as performance and flight time with the TKS Rocket Race. And hopefully I'm demonstrating the same sort of maneuvers that I did in the first video. That's one of the things about doing motor testing is that you either have to develop a rigid flight in order to get more data. It's not really data. It's visual representation, I guess, is the best way that I can think of putting it off the bat. But I just go out and I fly them. I don't fly them one time and try to do the same thing over and over again. I, I go out and just fly them and see what happens. Uh, maybe I get lucky and some magic happens or something funny happens or fun because that's what I love about FPV is even a crash can be fun. Hurts our wallet, but it can oftentimes bring a smile. So there's a lot of different flight stuff in here that you can look at in order to draw your comparison of you know how the motor handles different props. And that's what I'd hope to bring to you by testing out different props, different uh, sizes of batteries, and, and showing you as much as I could without making it a long, super boring video. And if I have done that successfully, please hit the thumbs up, right? We like videos, we should click the b thumbs up button to show our like for the video. <laughs> it's really okay. I think it's interesting that the thumbs up and the thumbs down is still there because I don't think YouTube really cares about that stuff anymore. They might have 10 years ago, but I don't think they do much anymore. It's supposed to show engagement, right? Well, I don't know. I don't buy into that stock much. But we've got a couple minutes of flight footage here on uh, both those props on 2S and uh, I think this, again, I think this motor is going to take over for the 0802 when it comes to 40 millimeter props and probably two inch by blades. We may see another super light two inch prop out there. Now, of course, I didn't go scouring the internet looking for every two inch prop to test every two inch prop. So if you have found a two inch prop that is uh, lighter or has a different uh, pitch profile or something that makes it easier for a smaller motor to spin than these gym fan props, yeah, it could be very, very viable. It's not bad on tri-blades. I just noticed with my flight style that there's a difference that makes me want to go 1102 on a 2-inch tri-blade. I'd like to also thank uh, Toto FPV. I think he was doing some advocating or recruiting uh, with RCM Power to make sure that some people who he wanted to see fly him, maybe, get their hands on a few sets. The only thing that could make it better is if it were blue. RCM Power, make an all-blue motor with maybe some chrome accents around the inside of the, the top of the motor, that'd be cool. Then I might have to buy them all the time, right? But if you're interested in these motors, I'll link uh, the RCN Power 1002 motors down in the video description below of the uh, websites that I can find them. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I think I've said that a few times because I never really know how to bring these sort of component videos to you. I want to bring it to where you can watch the video and you can draw your own conclusions. That's oftentimes my goal is to show you enough to where you can draw your own conclusions. And hopefully with the flight footage that I've shown, you've done that. I see I've been recording for 25 minutes. Hopefully I can condense this down closer to less than 15, maybe. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, please let me know in the comments section below. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.